Okay, right here is a 1969 Northwest 80D. The 80D was introduced by Northwest in 1937 as an upgrade of the former Model 80, which was introduced in 1933. The 80D turned out to be a very successful and popular shovel that helped make Northwest a leader in the excavator industry. This was a very popular machine back in the day for mining and quarry operations all around the world, and its sales show that. So now let's go and I'll take and show you around the shovel and tell you some history and technical information about an 80D. This rope that you see on the front of the shovel that connects to the bottom sheave, which is connected to the top of the bucket, is the hoist rope. It runs all the way up top to the two top sheaves which are mounted in the center of the boom and then down inside the house and connects to the drum. And this is what will pick the bucket up and down. On the top of the side of the boom, you can still see where it says Northwest. And also you can see all the support ropes that run from the top of the boom down to the top of the A-frame on the house. When the ADD was first introduced in 1937, the standard bucket capacity for this machine was two and a half cubic yards. However, over time, the capacity increased up to three cubic yards standard for this machine, whether it be set up as the stick front shovel or in the drag line configuration. And the manufacturer of choice to build the buckets for these Northwest shovels was this company right here, AMSCO. Now this drum that you see mounted underneath where the boom pins to the superstructure on the machine works the dipper handle. You can see here where the two ropes run up inside the boom. And this is what will extend the dipper handle out or pull it in. You can see that this shovel is chain driven. Here you can see where the big chain runs around the sprocket that connects to the drive motor. And when this machine is engaged into the tram mode, this is what will travel the shovel. Right here on the superstructure, it's kind of hard to see, but this is where the machine's serial number is. Okay, now let's go up on the ADD. I'll show you the operator station, and then we'll go back inside the house. Here you can get a good overview of the operator station. I'll show you what some of the controls do. On the floor you see two foot pedals. These are brakes. And the three big hand levers that you see out in front here control the swing, crowd, and hoist functions on the shovel. And below them you'll see three smaller hand levers. This one over here on the left side is for the swing brake. This is the travel brake. And the one on the right side you see here is for the engine clutch, in or out. Now off to my left side here, you see more hand levers. The one all the way in the back right here is for the boom hoist. This is what raises and lowers the boom. This is to make the boom go out. Out meaning away from the operator's cab, which is to lower the boom. And this would make the boom come in toward the operator's cab, raising the boom. This hand lever is for the digging lock. And this hand lever you see right here is for the steering when this machine is engaged into the tram mode. This is how you steer the shovel. This would be to turn the shovel to the left, and this will turn the shovel to the right. This hand lever you see right here is for the travel swing. and This will swing the shovel both ways. Through here, here's the inside of the house on an ADD. Okay, on this plate you see right here, this is all the specifications and lubrication numbers for the ADD. On the bottom right here, you can see where it says Northwest Engineering Company from Green Bay, Wisconsin. And here's the machine's model, ADD. 
This other plate you see over here is all about the air controls, the compressor, and the air system on the shovel. Behind this plate right here is the drum. And here you can see the engine that powers this machine. Right here you can see the gauges. This is the amps, oil pressure gauge, water temperature gauge, and this is the hour gauge. There are 7,158 hours on this engine. The ADD was powered by a Murphy MP21 six-cylinder diesel engine, which is what you're looking at right here. This was the standard engine of choice to power an ADD. Right here on the side you can see the engine's model, an MP21. Over here on the side, this is the air intake. And below it right here you can see where it says Murphy Diesel. On the side you can see the radiator fan. And right here, this is the air compressor. And the ADD was also available in either a dragline, lifting crane, or backhoe configuration, or as Northwest like to call it, in their pull shovel configuration. In the early 1980s, the model ADD was discontinued after over 2,600 ADDs were built and put into service worldwide. And I think that number will go to show you just how successful this machine was. But there she is, the backbone of Northwest Engineering Company, a 1969 Model 80D.